Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video guys to any of you having a BMW. Many of you guys asked us in the comment section below guys, can you drive your BMW without a transmission coolant thermostat? Without a transmission thermostat. Stay with us and we'll explain everything from start to finish guys and how that can destroy your transmission. So make sure you stay until the end, we'll share a few scenarios with you guys. Before we start, if you need to buy any parts, tools, thermostat, coolant, anything for your BMW, check out the links in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from guys for a really good price number two guys every single car we get at the shop we make at least at least two to three hundred free repair videos and why we do that simply because our mission here at the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video that way we can keep providing this free information so let me show you what we have here you may have different guys okay different types of thermostats but we will explain okay uh, uh, it will be the same for all of them for instance this one usually is located on the bottom of the radiator that's what uh, that's where it is this is the transmission coolant uh, those, those are the transmission lines coming one is inlet one is outlet guys transmission lines you have two uh, coolant uh, coolant lines one is inlet one is outlet this is the inlet this is the outlet guys uh, i think and uh, this is the thermostat right here that thermostat guys what it does it detects the transmission oil temperature it's actually towards the inside in the tank right here so if you remove that cap you will have a spring usually the thermostat you will go quite deep so can you drive okay without that thermostat let's say you broke yours uh, may, it may look different maybe a plastic one in some cases on some bmws and it does break often even if you remove radiators other things like that sometimes it does break uh, and you can just put the cap and can you drive without it many of you asked me that and i uh, read quite quite a few people asking that question on forums now practically guys yes you can but are you going to destroy your transmission probably yes in the long term why because uh the thermostat actually closes so the transmission can reach normal operation temperature usually it's about 90 degrees celsius i think uh, that's about uh, will be probably about 180 190 close to 200 degrees fahrenheit guys so uh, before that okay the transmission has more wear if you run cold transmission fluid through the transmission it will cause more wear because it will not be uh, lubricating good enough it will not be thin enough and that will cause guys the transmission to actually uh, kind of like eat itself in in uh, shorter term than it should uh, that's what will happen without thermostat now some people say you will overheat your transmission there is a chance for that but it's very likely guys because the coolant will be running the whole time open guys okay so it means that it will be the same temperature as the engine coolant in most cases unless you're doing some heavy uh, towing or some towing or something like that but without the thermostat most likely you will be running your transmission cold and in some cases on your bmws you may even get warning that the transmission is not reaching normal operating temperature after driving the car for a few hours on a long road trip, trip or something like that so uh, as a conclusion guys always replace that thing okay if you broke it and you need to drive the car short distance for a few days until you get the part yes you can do that but don't drive it guys long distance uh, and I wouldn't recommend driving it at all until you actually fix it. I've heard people driving it for six months, two years, three years, and the transmission is still fine. But maybe it will not be the next month or two. You never know. So always, guys, okay, always replace it if you break it. It's there for a purpose. If uh, the German engineers decided that it's needed, it is needed, guys. Believe me. Otherwise, you can cause more damage to your uh, transmission. Uh, I even seen some people driving without the coolant, blocking the coolant, and just connecting the two lines, and that's very dangerous for the transmission as well because you can uh, you can severely overheat the transmission and you can destroy it. So, uh, can you drive without thermostat? Yes, but I wouldn't recommend it, and replace it as soon as you can. Thank you for watching, guys. If you have any questions, let us know, and see you guys next time.